In the winter of 332 BC, Alexander surprised everyone. Instead of turning towards Persia, he left his army by the Nile and headed off with his close companions towards Libya. His goal was the distant oasis of Siwa and the famous oracle of Amman. He was still seeking signs from the gods. From the Nile Valley it's 700 kilometers to Siwa and the last stage goes straight into the desert. For Alexander, eight or nine days journey. He came through the little oasis of Gara and we camped close by. Now, now you see, I think it must have been a bit like this for Alexander and, and the boys. Yeah. See, these are young young bloods they're only men in their early 20s they've been on a campaign for two or three years and now they've got a few weeks off in the middle of egypt and they're camping out at night lighting fires underneath the stars drinking a bit of date wine having a bit of fun i think uh, i think the journey to sea where must have been an exciting experience for them this part of the journey the Greeks talk about a landscape without any features there wasn't a single tree or mountain by which we could get our bearings they say just a great ocean of sand two curious things happened on the way which the expedition's chronicler Callisthenes made out to be omens they ran out of water and were saved by a sudden shower. They lost their way, but birds appeared and led them back to the track. Finally, they entered Siwa. Even today, it's another world from the Egypt of the Nile Valley. A strange and magical place. <laughs> 